This video is sponsored by Skillshare. How's it going guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you all along with me throughout New York City as I pretty much spend an entire day shooting 35 millimeter film. So I'm gonna be shooting some Lomography 400, which I've never actually shot before. And funny enough, I didn't know I was shooting the entire time I was filming. Um, but I'm also gonna be shooting Portra 400 and Portra 800 too. I'll be using my go-to camera for 35 millimeter film and that's as you would guess, the Minolta CLE. I've talked about this camera a bunch on the channel before. It's my favorite for this kind of stuff, so I'm also pairing it with the 28 millimeter. I'm also gonna sprinkle in a few voiceover tidbits here and there, just so you guys got a bit more um, insight into what I was looking for and kind of learn a bit more, I guess, about my approach to shooting film, specifically street photography on film. But before I get into it, I wanna quickly mention today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a massive online learning community where you can find thousands of inspiring classes from street photography to running a successful YouTube channel. You can find pretty much any class on the kind of topic that you're interested in. One of my favorites is obviously street photography related and it's taught by street photographer, Craig Whitehead. He gives an extensive look into his entire street photography process, starting from the gear, the planning that goes into it, as well as the editing process, which I thought was very insightful. You can check out his class for free because the first 1,000 of you to use my link in the description will get a free one month free trial to Skillshare Premium. That's literally one month to try anything that Skillshare has to offer. On Skillshare, you'll get an ad-free experience as well as new premium classes as they launch. So check it out. I'll have the link in the description as well as pinned to the top of the comment section. So uh, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so voiceover Faisal here and we're starting off at Penn Station today. I do a quick reading of the exposure. This is the Siconic L308S light meter. I actually got this from my dad's friend as a gift. Um, shout out to him. So right now I'll be shooting some Lomography 400 at box speed. Uh, I, I actually thought I was shooting Portra 400 at the time, but it's all good as long as I was, uh, you know, having the camera and light meter read for 400 speed, I'm pretty much set. Actually, so this is my first roll of Lomo 400 that I've ever shot, and I quite like the images. To be honest, it's really close to Portra 400, um, maybe just a bit cooler. I'm also converting these and editing um, using Negative Lab Pro in Lightroom. So I tried to get this guy here uh, between two trucks, but you know, I was a little too late for that. I noticed some pretty good reflection action going on over here, so I do play around with this spot for a second. So that guy thought I was taking a photo of him, which is kind of funny because I was not even close to that guy. So I noticed someone left a teddy bear here. What's that? That guy was trying to sell me his bike. Take a portrait. 
Oh, Thought I'd try at least. I'm trying to avoid these behind the back type of photos, but I like how his hand was on the blockade and he had this slicked back hair. Uh, the crosswalk actually also adds a lot of dimension to this photo too, but I'm just noticing that right now. And actually, if you look closely across the street, you can see there's this structure right above his head and it's kind of mimicking his hair. So I sort of hang out in this area for a bit and I try to work this reflection coming from the entrance to the station. shooting in this specific block a lot because it's pretty busy and you're getting all sorts of type of people coming in and out of the station um, and you know if your intentions are to photograph interesting people on the street it's really great to just wait in a really busy area and sort of let people and let the photos sort of come to you and that's kind of what I'm doing here and in a city like Manhattan that's a lot easier to do I'll be honest Personally, I don't really like to wait around and photograph people like this, but something about shooting 35mm film in New York City that kind of makes you want to photograph all the interesting people that live here. So I guess that's why I'm doing it. I actually spot my friend James crossing the street right over here. Bro, the fucking bro. trains is absolutely worst. Dude, there's so many people. This is not a rough road. You should see the afternoon. It's like, it's like all I do oh, is yeah, like, yeah. you walk like this little square, mm -hmm. and then if you, we can walk down here, and you hook right, and then you go to 33rd. That's where I came out of the subway. Right. That's even, where I came from, too. Yeah, even that area is like dope, yeah. too. Like this whole like section, bro, and then down here, we can just walk this whole block. I got uh, four more shots in here. Behind this wall thing, I spot this girl with a few flowers sticking out of her bag. This is definitely a favorite from the day. Dude, it's funny, I can't do that with, with my right eye because I'm left eye dominant. So I gotta do this. Yeah. 
if I do it, I got I got to close my left eye. Yeah. Because I, I, I when I do this, like I, it's, I can't see anything. Yeah, no one talks about that. If you're left eye dominant, then yeah, dude, I never <laughs> you won't be able to that. use a range finder. I never even thought about that shit. That's wild. I've been trying to find like what works best, so, like the TIFFs or the the DNG files. I do DNG. DNGs. All right, so we're coming to the end of the video. I really appreciate all of you uh, for sticking around to the end and watching this POV. I have a ton of videos that I've been really slow to edit, but you know, that's a good thing and it means there is no shortage of videos in the near future. So excited to get those on the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Love you all.